Hey everybody, it's Ed. All right, I'm gonna try this. I realized I'm up to 35 of the Elvis FTD LPs. There have been 37 that have been released so far. I am missing two, which uh, being the very first one that they released back in 2009, which was Blue Hawaii. This happens to be the second one. And the second one that I'm, uh, second one that was released actually, and the second one that I'm missing is the latest release, which is Elvis Sings Memphis, Tennessee. However, with the exception of the first one and the most recent one, I have the complete collection. So I thought it was time to do an update and show uh, the 35 FTD LPs that I do have. Now, FTD is the Elvis Presley fan club, uh, basically label. They started out in, I believe it was 1999, doing CDs. And then in 2009, they started releasing albums on vinyl. And uh, this was the second one that they released called Standing Room Only. Very hard to find now. If you do find it, it goes for a lot of money. And this was the first one that I picked up. And then pretty much since then, I had picked pretty much all of them up. Uh, there was some that I was missing, but people helped me fill in the gap, so I wound up finding them eventually. But again, just wanted to go through the collection. So. Again, was talking from 2009 up till today, which is the day I'm recording this, September 1st, 2019. So we're talking 10 years of releases. So that was the first one, Standing Room Only. Now, I am going to show these in the order that they were released. This is the Jungle Room Sessions. Another one that's hard to come by and can go for a lot of money. This one I've seen just go for over $500, and I was astounded. Uh, I wonder if the person actually paid. It was an eBay auction. But, wow, yikes. Jailhouse Rock. This is another one that's going for stupid money, if you can find it. The good times. The outtakes. This is the back. This is apparently what the original artwork was supposed to look like before they decided to change it up. Sorry about the glare, guys. I'm trying to use a light. I'm hoping it doesn't fall. Viva Las Vegas. All of these are out of print now. You can find most of them on eBay. Um, this one I've seen recently go for around between 150 to 175. I don't know. If <laughs> it's nuts. How Great Thou Art. Potluck Sessions. I'm trying to get it where you can see it the best. I really should zoom in on the shrinks. Maybe I'll do videos showing each individual one more in depth. Although a lot of these aren't even open. I don't have, I would say, well, not half, but a little bit more than not half of them are sealed, but still. Elvis Sings Guitar Man. Like I said, some of these are easier to find than others and may not go for, you know, so much. When I say not so much, meaning maybe not much more than what they originally went for. Um, this one, however, this one seems to go for a lot if you can find it, especially on eBay. Elvis's back sessions. This goes for pretty stupid money. A lot of them do. It's, it's crazy. Maybe I'll do a video uh, highlighting the most expensive ones, you know, that I've I've seen recently on eBay. Promised Land. This one's starting to go up too. All right, but well, many of the out of print ones definitely go for more than what they originally did. Right, yeah, that's the way it is. Alternate cover. Great cover. Back is almost identical to the original. I'm whispering, so a lot of you are probably going to be complaining that you can't hear me. I apologize. Elvis Country. All right. The GI Blues. Stage, February 1970. Great picture. I zoom in on that one. With the women just looking up at him. It's hysterical. Great, great shot. 
and then recorded live on stage in Memphis. This is the full Memphis concert on two LPs. All of these are double LP. There is one exception, but I haven't gotten to it yet. But I'll point it out when we get to it. All right, starting my second pile. We have from Elvis in Memphis. This is a great one. Sorry about the glare. It's terrible. <laughs> All right, and then we have back in Memphis. Stay away, Joe. Sorry. Just want to make sure I'm putting them back the right way so they stay in order. Alright. And we have Hot August Night. This is the complete August 25th, 1969 show. Midnight. So this is one of the uh, concerts that was in the recently released what is it, 11 CD box set of the concerts from 1969. And then we have Something for Everybody Sessions. Good stuff. And then we have from Elvis at American Sound Studios. This is another one that's going up now as far as value on the secondary market, which is crazy. Elvis Now and Again. This is interesting. I haven't even listened to this one yet, but I have the CD, so I uh, just haven't really gotten a chance to opening and listening to this one. Not enough time, but it's funny. I keep listening to the same stuff <laughs> over and over. This is Moody Blue. Interesting about this is it's clear vinyl, which is pretty neat. For some reason, clear vinyl fascinates me. I'm easily amused. And it's numbered as well. This was six, well, I'm sorry, 1697. I was going to say 1697. But this is a good one. And then we have You Touched Me. This is another good one. Not too keen on that shot, but. All right, this is the only single LP release, and this is also on clear vinyl, but this is King, Re uh, King Creole. And not only is it also on clear vinyl, it is also numbered, and this is number 1866, 1866. So, this is a good one though. A lot of good stuff on this. All right, and then we have today, the original session mixes. Different shot. Speedway. And then we have Too Much Monkey Business, which is the Felton Jarvis mixes, which I'm really not particularly fond of. But is what it is. Then we have Rust About. And then we have Elvis Fool with the original uh, mock-up of what the cover was supposed to look like, but I think it was the colonel who objected to the word fool being underneath Elvis's name. I believe that's the story. I may be wrong. You can look into it. All right, we're on the last ones. Speaking of the last ones, we have Elvis, The Last Movies, which basically collects uh, the songs from his last movies that we never on his soundtracks, maybe his EPs or, or singles, but no soundtrack LPs to them. All right, and then we have Jailhouse Rock Volume 2. This is recent. You can still get this. And uh, where these are available is either shopelvis.com or shopgraceland.com. Uh, if you go there and you go to media and you search FTD or just go to media vinyl, they should show up. But um, you can just go to the FTD uh, tablet and it'll show all the CDs and the vinyl that they carry as well. So this is Cafe Europa. This is uh, GI Blues Volume 2. And the very last one that I have to show is Kissin' Cousins. 
And that will be it. So that is my collection of 35 FTDs for now. I do plan on getting the Kissing Cousins. When I do, I'll probably make a video, so you'll be able to see that one. Uh, not Kissing Cousins, I'm sorry. Uh, Elvis Sings Memphis, Tennessee. So we'll leave it at that. All right, but thanks for watching. You can leave a comment, and be good to yourselves, be good to each other. Take care.